All right, welcome back to the channel today. And we're going to be watching Jurassic Park as the next franchise that we are going to be watching every Monday. I'm going to be honest. There are parts of Jurassic Park I have seen. I haven't watched the movie all the way through. There are just parts I have seen and that I am familiar with. I'm not sure which movie they're in. I'm not going to look it up. I'm just going to go into these completely blind. I'm super excited to start this franchise, so I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next two Jurassic Park movies will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. This is gonna go terribly. I would take the back. Be behind the dinosaur? No, I would hate to be the person in the front, like by its mouth. I know it's like can't really bite you through that, but you never know, dude. It could sneak a claw through it. <laughs> oh, RIP. <laughs> dude, these tasers aren't doing shit. <laughs> raise some very serious safety questions about the park. Hmm. That makes the investors very, very anxious. If two experts sign up on the island, the insurance guys will back off. They want Alan Grant. Nice, let's crystallize. It's a crazy concept to think about. You know, do you know how sick it would be to find a dinosaur skeleton, like, lose you if you don't move but no not velociraptor mm. you stare at him and he just stares right back that's when the attack comes not from the front but from the side mm. the other two raptors you didn't even know were there yeah because they travel the velociraptor's a pack hunter you see he yep. uses coordinated attack patterns and he slashes at you with this six inch retractable claw like the slashes at you here uh. or maybe across the belly spilling your intestines you are alive when they start to eat you ah uh. try to show a little respect okay <laughs> you just scared the shit out of this kid <laughs> who the fuck is this who the fuck is pulling up on our site like this yeah bro the ruin in our site Mm. Here's the sales pitch. Biological preserve. And there's no doubt our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. The investors says that they insist on outside opinions. What kind of opinions? Well, your kind not to put too fine a point on it. Professional opinion. And if I could just persuade you to sign off on the park. <laughs> Why would they care what we think? Yeah, they're professionals. I, I could compensate you by fully funding your dig. Very unusual time for a further three years. Where's the plane? Yeah. Hey. Well, in that case. Dodson! You shouldn't use my name. Dodson! Dodson! We've got Dodson here! Nobody cares. <laughs> nice hat. That's a Hawaiian shirt, dick. Delivery 50,000 more for each viable embryo. That's 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. Oh, I'll get them all. Embryos, they're no use to us if they don't survive. Oh, oh you good. It's cool to compartmentalize inside. <laughs> you good. Oh, I've got an 18 minute window. That's it, senor. Don't get cheap I'm, on me, Dodson. But I'm not covering this. Jesus, bro, I, you just got a fucking... All right, whatever, dude. All right, so he has to bring some embryos back. All right. It's 36 well, hour two, window. Uh, <gasps> Jeff Goldblum. Three. I know he's in this, but has an 18-minute window to grab him, I guess. Relax. Try and enjoy yourself. Well, let's get something straight, John. This is not a weekend excursion. This is a serious investigation of the stability of the island. 48 hours from now, if they're not convinced, I'm not convinced. I shut you down, John. In 48 hours, I'll be accepting your apologies. Ideally, yeah, but... Oh, he can't believe what he sees. <laughs> been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a month. Hey, look. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, you can't believe it either. What are we looking at? <gasps> My god, look at that beast. Bro, I feel like its tail could just take out a tree by accident. It's, it's a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Imagine Dr. Grant was like, actually, this is inaccurate. It should be more like, you know, <laughs> just starts critiquing the fuck out of it. This thing's got, what, a 25, 27 foot neck? Rack your saw 30. We're gonna make a fortune with this place. <laughs> well, he believes now. How fast are they? Well, we clocked the T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. Damn. Say again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <sighs> All right, let's go check it out, but let's see it strictly from the helicopter. I do not want to be on the same fucking dirt as a fucking as a T-Rex. How'd you do this? Mm, a lot of government corruption. <laughs> There's nothing enough money can't solve. <laughs> We're out of a job. Don't get extinct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Our, we, our jobs just went extinct. Good afternoon, John. DNA from what source? Where do you get a hundred million year old dinosaur blood? Probably from the thing they found in the mine, covered in the ember. Just find their blood maybe crystallized. But how would you get blood from them? Every single dinosaur, like, yeah. Left their blueprints behind for us to find. We just had to know where to look. There were mosquitoes, just like today. And just like today, they fed on the blood of animals, mm. even dinosaurs. Yep. Sometimes. So the mosquitoes are carrying them and they're crystallized. We use the complete DNA of a frog to fill in the holes and complete the code. So, so these dinosaurs are part frog. Hmm. That's Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Sounds like him. Oh, perfect timing. It's about a hatch. Very good push. Aww. Push. Very oh, good. God. Oh, God. Push. It's a like cute, but so... Cr oh, my God. So evil. There you are. There oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, it's a little velociraptor. It's really cute, but it's also really terrifying. <laughs> oh. But, um, again, how do you know they're all female? We control their chromosomes. Right, developmental stage to make them male. But we simply mm. deny them that. Do they have accelerated aging, or do they age at, like, a normal rate? However the normal rate is. Barriers painfully, maybe even dangerously, but... Uh, you're implying that a group composed entirely of female animals will breed? No, mm. I'm, I'm simply saying that life, uh, finds a way. Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> Dude, you do realize if there's too many velociraptors. You bred raptors. Yeah. He was just explaining how deadly these things are. <gasps> no. Feeding them. No. Fuck, dude. R.I.P. If you have too many dinosaurs, too many carnivore dinosaurs, this place is fucked. <laughs> there's nothing we can do. I'm assuming that something like that ends up happening, so. Damn, RIP this cow. Um. Uh, you know, I'm happy they didn't show it, but just hearing it's just as bad. If you get like a hundred velociraptors, then they become an unstoppable force and there's just nothing you can do. Yes, 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 yes. So that's why we're taking extreme precautions. Mm. Do they show intelligence? With the brain cavity show extreme intelligence. Even problem solving intelligence. Mm, you know what? We should have nerfed every single dinosaur here by making them dumb as fuck. <laughs> that that's a great precaution. When she looks at you, you can see she's working things out. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to feed them like this. She had them all attacking the fences when the feeders came. The fences are electrified though, right? That's right, but they never attacked the same place twice. They were testing the fences for weaknesses systematically. Fuck. <laughs> they remember. Damn. Bro, they probably don't even care. It's electric, bro. They just eat that shit. But then, yeah, they remember it, so then they just move on like shit, dude. This park was not built to cater only for the super rich. Everyone in the world has the right to enjoy these animals. What, we'll have a, a coupon day. Dude, don't do what Disney did and open a hotel that costs $6,000 a night. That is bullshit.
It's closed now. Uh, and what you're doing here, genetic power is the most awesome force the planet's ever seen, but you wield it like a, a kid that's found his dad's gun. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> um, I'll tell you the problem with the scientific power that you're, that you're using here. Uh, it didn't require any discipline to attain it. Mm. As fast as you could, and before you even knew what you had, you you patented it and packaged mm. it and slapped it on a plastic lunchbox. Yep. And now you're selling it. You're sell it. Well. Yep. This entire place has has been rushed to make a profit. <laughs> yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this isn't this isn't some species that was obliterated by deforestation, or or the building of a dam. Dinosaurs uh, uh, had their shot. And nature selected them for extinction. You just created the most dangerous animal on the goddamn planet. And therefore, how could you ever assume that you can control it? Yeah, you can't. But these are aggressive living things that have no idea what century they're in, and they'll defend themselves violently if necessary. Mm -hmm. Possibly have the slightest idea of what to expect. I can tell you exactly what to expect, dog. Expect the absolute worst. <laughs> like, expecting anything else is just super naive. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dinosaurs. Velociraptors are just one carnivore that I named. Like you got you got goddamn T-Rexes. You got all the other ones. <laughs> yeah, you got so many more, but thank God there is an entire ocean between this island and the rest of the fucking world. All the dinosaurs made it to the mainland. That is a god that is an Avengers level threat. <laughs> He doesn't want to ride with little Timmy. Tell me when you are. Aww. He looks up to him. And it made a bunch of diamond dust. And He's gonna just shut the door. And he told me about this other book by a guy named Backer. And he <laughs> said I should ride with you because it'd be good for you. <laughs> She's fucking. Set. She set us up. National Weather Service is tracking a tropical storm. That is Sam Jackson. That's late. I didn't know he was in this. He's been in a lot of movies we've watched recently. I mean, we just did a lot of Quentin Tarantino movies, so that's why. One of the earliest carnivores. We now know Dilophosaurus. Another carnivore. Spitting its venom at its prey, causing oh. blindness and eventually oh. paralysis. Oh. The... You know, we could have added this, but took out the venom just just for safety reasons. You know, like we we get we get the idea that. They, they are venomous, okay? They can spit venom at you, but it doesn't mean you need it to actually have that added in. I get we're going for historical accuracy here, but... Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? Park in this room with minimal staff for up to three days. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code mm. for what I bid for this? But he's got to steal embryos, so he's doing this shit on purpose. Really, Amber, they are your problems. Oh, you're right, John. You're absolutely right. You know, everything's my problem. I will not get... Dennis came up on a bag and he has an attitude now. Part of the system for a while, you know, there's a finite amount of memory. You can't use it for everything. We're going to compile for half an hour. Go ahead. Like, you got like one gigabyte max of memory. Ah. Oh. RP go. I wouldn't want, dude, if I was a passenger, I wouldn't want to launch this. This would make me sad. T-Rex doesn't want to be fat. He wants to hunt. Mm -hmm. He wants to work for his food. Oh, this goat has no idea. That goat's just gonna be snatched. It's like, mm. uh, now, now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Hello. You know, we'll just put like ten more T Rexes in this enclosure just so we can guarantee you see one. That's a fantastic idea. <gasps> what are you doing, motherfucker? Why is your window down, first of all? Why are you even able to roll your windows down in the first place? Secondly, why are you able to open your doors? No. There's no. Uh, another example. I mean, maybe for them, I guess, because they're testing out the park and everything, but like, nah, dude. If that's like, if that's a thing for every single passenger, fuck no. But he wants to get out and see for himself. We needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors. Yeah. What? No one thought of that? Is there anybody else who thinks that we shouldn't be out here? Me. Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Timmy. Oh, wow. Aww. Is he sleeping or is he hurt? <laughs> Whoa. 
Yeah, that'd be pretty sick to see up close like that. That storm center hasn't dissipated or changed course. We're gonna have to cut the tour short, I'm afraid. Pick it up again tomorrow where we left off. Are you sure we have to? It's not worth taking the chance, John. Yeah, oh. dude. I would have absolutely no issue. <laughs> If they're like, hey, we're going to have to pause and resume tomorrow, I'll be like, okay, no problem. Because I feel like I, I want to underestimate how like how dangerous this place is. The captain says we got to go. We got to go. No, 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 listen. you got to give me the time. I did 20 minutes. I thought it could maybe push to 18, but you got to give me at least 15 minutes. Give me the 15 minutes. No promises. Yeah, he needs to get the embryos to them. But the timing for Dennis to go get the embryos isn't right yet, so. Got two no shows and one sick triceratops. It could have been worse, John. Someone could have died. Anybody yeah. want a soda or something? Like, bro, we believe that we believe you. Like, they're here. Like, we're not doubting that. It's just, I understand. You can't guarantee they're going to show up on time on, on the tour, you know? It's like, they could be on doing absolutely whatever. <laughs> but he wants to guarantee that to people who pay. So it's like, he needs to make sure. Mm. You're married? Occasionally. <laughs> what do you mean occasionally? Yeah. That's all right. Door security systems are shutting down. Well, Ned said a few systems would go offline, didn't he? Yeah. He just said it's nothing to worry about. So he can sneak in here and get the embryos. So everything's going to go wrong because of Dennis's greedy bitch ass. I, ho I hope he gets caught. I really hope he doesn't get away with this. No. Fences are failing all over the park. The raptor fences aren't out, are they? Mm. <laughs> no, no, they're still on. Okay, okay. For now. <laughs> nah, don't even bother to put that shit back up. Just keep going. Uh, uh, uh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh, uh. Such a hoe. It's here. Now, did they say these fences were down or not? They only said the Velociraptor ones are still on. Pretty sure these ones are off. Uh, the goat's gone. Where's the goat? <gasps> oh, RIP goat, bro. RIP Aaron Rodgers. Why would you go into this porter potty? Ah, he's in so much fear. He just died. I mean, you can't really stay in the truck. You can't. <gasps> yep. Yep. There goes the fence. All right. Yeah. If you stay in the car, you're pretty much dead too. So. They really should have made the fence a lot higher. Like they should have tripled it. Oh, I thought that tail was about to whip our car. Suspicion's based on movement. No, she, is that for, oh. No, 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 no. This is this is Nala in the morning when, when she's trying to wake me up to go for a walk. <laughs> Yeah, eat the tire, eat the tire. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Why would you do freeze? Yeah, why? why would you do that? It was literally gonna go to the flare. What are you doing? <laughs> no, it's, it's too focused on you now. It's not gonna go after the flare. Where is pants where is it? Where's pants down? <laughs> Oh, at least the dinosaur, at least the T-Rex ate. Now it's going to be nice and satisfied with a big full belly and it's going to leave us alone. <laughs> nah. Minus 
safety systems off. He doesn't want anybody to see what he's about to do. Enough to take a gas jeep and bring back my grandchildren. Oof. Sure. Anything for you, boss. <laughs> John. Yeah, John realizes he just fucked up. I can't get Jurassic Park back online without Dennis Nedry. Mm. <laughs> oh, man, shit's stuck. Just run. <laughs> what the hell was that? Do it. Come on, Dennis. Nah, they've already left. <gasps> oh shit, the hell is that thing? Oh, he wants to play. Thought you were one of your big brothers, you're not so bad. You're not so bad. What do you want? He looks mean. And no wonder you're extinct. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you can even make it back to the Jeep. Mm. Bro, kick that thing in the face and get in the car as fast as you can. Oh, that's the one that squirts all the venom. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, GG, that thing's gone. Okay, yeah, you're for sure. Yeah, you're dead now. And all the embryos are gone, like, just in that can. Damn. Oh, Dennis is dead, so now we can't even turn the park back on without him because we don't know the magic fucking word. Tim. You okay? Not really. It's okay. Just give me a hand. Mm. Oh. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna help you with the footing. <gasps> Go. Let's just say this car wasn't here and we don't have to beat this car down the tree right now. We'd probably never get down because Timmy would be too scared. It would take so long, but the fact that you know you have it's now or never, it's made him go immediately. Cause dude, I remember being a kid, I climbed the tree once and I was so goddamn stubborn about coming down, like there was literally nothing no one could have done to make me get out. Until my brother climbed up and they just threw me out, so. <laughs> they went through the sunroof. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Now, now, right. Start the engine. Oh my god. Yeah, they, said they said the T-Rexes can run up to 32 miles an hour. We gotta go. We gotta be pushing like 60. Okay, okay, we outran him. Okay, he gave up. I think they'll have that on the tour. <laughs> hey! Those are brontosauruses! I mean, uh, brachiosaurus. Those ones are our friends. Those ones we're chill with. These ones are chill like that. <laughs> Tell him what the, the hell just happened. And how we're not safe to be here anymore. Like, we need to go. Something that was real. Something that they could see and touch. Mm hmm. They had pure intentions. Just super naive. So we're over dependent on automation. I can see that now. Now, the next time everything's correctable. Mm. What do you mean, next time? There will not be a next time. This place is never gonna open. You're gonna have to call on every single goddamn military to come wipe this, pl wipe this island out. Or you just abandon the island and let the dinosaurs live and then let them go extinct again. Oh, oh, this is our boy. This is our boy. Yo. Right. I'm not letting go. I wish you could just turn its head and then just throw your ass. To be called a hacker. Oh, God. What? <gasps> oh. No, All right. Those are eggs, they just hatch. Velociraptor eggs? I mean, we saw eggs hatch earlier, so maybe it's Velociraptors too. Yeah, they're breeding on their own. Amphibian DNA. 
Mm. What's that? The film said they used frog DNA to fill in the gene sequence gaps. They so they could reproduce anyway. Some West African frogs have been known to spontaneously change sex from male to female in a single sex environment. Malcolm was right. Yep, they find a way. Okay, but what dinosaur eggs are they? That's super duper important. If these are Velociraptor eggs, then the parents are somewhere nearby and we're fucked. Do it. I Shutting will not. down the system is the only way to wipe out everything that he did. <sighs> shut everything down? Uh, Theoretically, yes, but we've but, never shut down the entire system before. It may not come yeah. back on at all. <sighs> Off the island. Mm. Dr. Wu inserted a gene that creates a single faulty enzyme in protein metabolism. The animals can't manufacture the amino acid lysine. Unless they're completely supplied with lysine by us, they slip into a coma and die. Mm. Just wipe out all of the... Uh, every single dinosaur. Will you please shut down the system? Yeah, he doesn't want to do that. Where are the breakers? Outside. Here, the other end of the compound. Oh, Three that's minutes, great. I can have power back on the entire park. Uh, just to be safe. Well, everything in the entire park is shut down, so... Every single fence that was that worked is now off. So, so every single dinosaur is just gonna migrate everywhere, and they're all just gonna get mixed together. And oh god. Meat eating. Uh, meat sources. Nah, those are gungans, dude. <laughs> all major theme parks had delays. When they opened Disneyland in 1956. This isn't fucking Disneyland. <laughs> The Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the pirates don't eat the tourists. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going with you. Mm. He's grabbing the strap. <laughs> Grab a fucking a 50 mag. <laughs> that would probably kill a Velociraptor. I can see the shed from here. We can make it if we run. We can't. Oh, he knows. They're already hunting us. Because we're being hunted. I've got her. Oh, God. Go. But, but, like Grant said, there's more, there's always more than just one. They don't attack you straight on. They get you from the sides. Oh, well, she made it anyway, but that guy's dead. Look, okay, okay, look, look. Even if we can get the power back on, which would be phenomenal. All the fences are still broken and all the dinosaurs have migrated through their spaces now so it's like it, it's a it's a fucking mess we gotta call that one plan where it like, kills all of them like you just gotta restart honestly like that's the only way you're really fixing this it's off for now but they're working on turning it back on so watch they're gonna be, they're gonna be in the middle of climbing this it's gonna get turned back on. Well, maybe we, we can... No. Go, 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 go. If I'm in this situation, I and I hear that T-Rex, I'm turning into Spider-Man, bro. <laughs> I'm over that fence in 10 seconds. <gasps> oh, it's turning back on. It's on the run. I have to jump. Boy, your ass is about to get cooked to let go. Two. Oh. oh, he caught him. Okay, at least he caught him. Stop breathing. Ooh. Mr. Hammond, I think we're back in business. <laughs> oh my fucking god, where the fuck did this thing come from? I was literally about to say, hell yeah, and then I saw that motherfucker. I saw that goddamn reptile. Oh, oh Mr. Oh. <gasps> no! R.I.P. Sam Jackson. But hey, you see this one in front of you, there's two more. They're gonna get them. Yep. <sighs> Okay. Yep. Ah, he died. Damn, we shot right there. He thought he outsmarted them, but nah, they were just beating him. Hair's all sticking up. Oh, I wonder why. I just got fucking barbecued. <laughs> it's here. T-Rex is here. 
Oh, wait, never mind. <gasps> it's behind. No, no, Velociraptor behind him. I was going to say, like, that would be kind of weird to make the jello shake. He's gonna open these fuckers are smart. He's gonna open that door. Hmm. <laughs> oh god, if you can you can uh, you can't shut that though. Oh, it was just a mirror, shit. Got you a dumbass. Smart, but you're not that smart yet. I mean, I fell first. <laughs> All right, now get out of the freezer. Now get out and then trap his ass in. Wait, <laughs> she just ran over like this. Oh. All right, well, homeboy in the freezer is dead, so. The door locks! Ellie, boot up the door locks! <gasps> oh, nope. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, you still have the gun, dude. Just take the gun and put it right in the door. Let let the door open just this much. Enough for the gun to just blast him in the face. It tells you everything. Um, I gotta find the right file. Alright, she's a hacker, so. Bro, you gotta start snapping fingers on that Velociraptor. <laughs> nah, that claw would s oh, split your hand so quick. Well, nah, what well, you gotta do is you gotta let the door open just a little bit. So he puts his hand through, then you slam that shit. Oh, okay. Oh, she did it. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. This is it. Get fucked. Tell them to send the damn helicopters. Yeah. Gonna come through the send the goddamn military, bro. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, oh, oh shit, there's another one. Oh no, the gang's here. The entire gang's here. The king came through. That's that's really lucky though. That is extremely lucky. All right, now we gotta go because once this T-Rex eats those raptors, they're after us. Well, that was Jurassic Park. Damn, that was a fantastic movie. I, I can see why this is like a huge, very, very popular franchise. Now, I will be honest, some of it did look and feel pretty familiar. I did recognize a couple scenes from it, like like when the T-Rex is chasing the car, I've definitely have seen that before somewhere. The Velociraptor, climax I, I haven't seen it in full but i've definitely have seen clips from that i think when i was super duper young i walked out into the living room and my parents were watching this the velociraptor climax was on and i think i got too scared to watch it i ran out of the room or something because like when i was super young i used to have the worst nightmare the worst reoccurring nightmare that I was being chased around my house by a velociraptor and i think i've seen this scene a long long time ago and this is what made me have those reoccurring nightmares but i've never watched the movie all the way through so i didn't know the story points i just knew i was just kind of familiar with like those certain scenes but there were so many good things to this movie it would be so hard to say all of them but i will probably say my favorite thing my favorite thing about this movie was the velociraptors you know i loved when the velociraptors they just appeared out of nowhere that that was probably my favorite part of the movie because you never expect it. You didn't expect them to just show up in the frame. Like the camera would just pan, boom, there it is. Or they, or they just creep up behind you. And it's just like, oh shit. Like when you realize it, you're like, oh shit. But yeah, that was Jurassic Park from 1993. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.